Welcome to Genshin Impact. Enjoy the Genshin Impact, where you can see just how much time I put into this game, despite not being sure if I like it or not. Ganyu. Ganyu. The Ginyu Force. Um, despite my best efforts to not use this ga bow gameplay, it has proven to be very good. Okay. What is this reminiscent rem regimen? Multiplayer. Another thing I never do in this game. Let's check it out. I actually don't know what this is. It's just right in front of me. So Genshin Impact is the Fortnite of anime. Does that make <laughs> does that make any sense? Okay, we've got two. No, actually everyone's a different character. They're just all very similar because that's how Genshin is. Can you tell the difference between these two characters? They're actually different people. Genshin Impact is the game where everyone looks the same. They just have slightly different outfits and hairstyles. I am adventure rank 59. The max is 60. I haven't hit it yet. Okay. And so this is not actually the way the game is, if you're new. It's just like a little, like, mini game. And I would say this character doesn't even play, like, most of the game. They're just kind of like... Um, there's like several different weapon types and they all play like relatively distinctly with the bow being the most different. Okay. Wooden shields. We're done. There's no way we can get through. Um, yeah, this is the game. With zero people of color in it. And I think that sucks. Frankly, it's a gotcha game. get all these coins though I want to get these coins I miss the coins it's probably fine Yeah, I mean, the thing I mainly don't like about Genshin is also related to the story, but perhaps in a different way than missing important lore. I like to, I like to go around and shoot stuff. Hit it with a sword, etc. But, you know, a lot of the game is, like, more like a visual novel. And maybe not a particularly interesting one. Oh, yeah, we could take a look at the characters if you want to see. Let's wait till we get to the end of this. This is, like, weirdly long. Which is weird considering I'm not doing anything. I 
There's a guy over there. Whoops. Again, the right click. Always be right clicking. Right. Drop to sea level. Complete the challenge. I did it. I'm the first. First to complete the challenge. Five hundo, baby. Okay. Um, yeah, here's here's my characters. I've got Gan Yu, got Zhang Ling, got Zhang Li, one of my faves, like Zhang Li, got Bennett. I don't particularly like him, but he's strong. Got Venti. Got D. Luke with his sexy new outfit. Hello, D. Luke. Look at that. Look at that special boy. Got Chong Yoon. Never used him. Fischl. Eh. I used her in the beginning of the game, but like, no thanks. Uh, Jing Jingchu? Jingchu? I always, I always mess up his name. Um, again, don't particularly like him, but he's powerful. Barbara, never used her. Noelle, never used her. All right. One of the very few characters that they've released that is actually good in like the past year. Love, love my man, Artaki Ito. Despite, well, in addition to the fact that he also has big himbo energy. Um, got them abs. He's very funny. Uh, I think, who's the VA? I think it's like, let's check. Nope, that's not how you check. Max Middleman, he's great. He's this kind of guy. One and Oni. Oni Sumo King. Pride of Oni Ito. Beetle Gladiator. TCG Champion. Oh, you can't hear? I didn't know you couldn't hear this whole time. Damn. All right. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm the head honcho of the Aratari Here you go. Game. And everyone knows my names. Here you go. Here you go. <clears throat> Arataki, the one and only Ito. Arataki, the Oni Sumo King Ito. Arataki, the pride of Oni Ito. And, I mean, I get it. Sometimes I have the sound off entirely. Ito. Arataki, the ultimate TCG champion Ito. Yeah. Arataki, he might lose, but he'll never admit defeat, though. Anyway, these are some of the ones I usually go by, so uh, go ahead, take your pick. I'll respond to whichever one you choose, I promise. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Um, yeah, he's great, and whenever he's in a story, I will pay attention. That being said, he's not in a lot of stories. Uh, Chi Chi, no one has ever used her. Ayaka, I like her the way her character plays. And that's about it. She's, she kind of like, okay, there's a thing in this game where the girl personalities are like, um, a blade embraces its duty as a jeweler cherishes their gems. It's like that. It's like, hey, Inazuma Shogunate, Yashiro Commission, Kamisato Clan, uh -huh. widely known as one of the most distinguished clans in all of Inazuma. Uh huh. It is the branch of the Tri Commission that manages ceremonial and cultural affairs. Oh. Since my parents passed, mm -hmm. brother and I assumed responsibility for all clan matters, mm -hmm. big and small. <sighs> yeah, I got it. Yeah. It's, mm -hmm. uh, what were we doing? 
Okay, yeah, Genshin Impact. We're playing Genshin Impact. All right, here's the same character. Just kidding, it's a different character. Um, and they have a different story. Just kidding, it's the same story. Uh, let's see. The battlefield is unpredictable. One false move could mark utter defeat. Mm -hmm. Before the onset of battle, I bring every possible scenario into consideration mm -hmm. and turn my thoughts into written directives. These are then issued to the okay. troops. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It does seem at present like they're somewhat over-reliant on the directives, mm -hmm. which worries me. Oh, okay. Yeah. If they read yeah. up on military strategy themselves, they could begin to rely on... Yeah, maybe. Maybe they could. Yeah, the that's a good point. I need them to be able to identify and seize opportunities. Oh, yeah. You got you got to do that. You're, you got to do it. Oh, sorry. Were you, you're done? Are you done? Okay. They're done. Um, <laughs> and here's Ganyu. Um, she looks a little bit different, we'll say. She's got them horns. But also, let's see. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I was... Uh wondering what your opinion is on my work so far would you say i'm more of a common chest or more of a luxurious chest okay well this is a little bit it's fine i i can uh i can take it this one's a little bit uh, a little bit we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about your chest okay okay tell me some interesting facts jingson flower petals are pretty tasty Incredibly tasty, actually. The only reason I don't plant any at Eugen Terrace is because they taste so good that I worry I wouldn't be able to control myself. Uh huh. Huh? Bitter? Yes, they are. Isn't that what they're supposed to taste like? Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Wanted to spice that one up a little bit. It was important. Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right, now I'll stop shitting on the character design of Genshin Impact. The truth is, the truth is, is that it's bad, um, but what were we talking about? Okay. Um, I like, I like the gameplay. I think it's fun uh, most of the time. Uh, they have the big island event here called the Golden a Apple Archipelago. Golden Apple Archipelago. Um, where they have some fun things to do. Like they have like, you know, story domains you can go to. You can have like some combat adventures. You can get some chests. Um, they also have quests. Here, this is my favorite part. Let's just take a little seat. The dragon flew off and briefly rested at the gate. Where are the gods? Are they too terrified to face their fate? There are five plays you must listen to to, uh, to get some free-to-play currency. The princess and her entourage quickly arrive. This is what they are like. The princess loyal knight takes I, I timed it the creature, a full hour. Always rode far ahead. How dare the dragon be insolent as such? I actually I did. The king to not let I actually did try to pay to attention at the beginning. Mayhap our tactician can succeed with his wits and charm. But these are. Um, Legends it was a full hour, yeah. The ultimate survivor. Uh, there's no way to speed it up. Against dangers with fastidious care. We need. They are. Recklessly suffer. Statues of ravens. Plan, acting out the plays the entire together. time. Uh huh. Yeah. Are you done? They're not done. I know they're not done. The loyal okay. Yes. Passed the message in a voice yeah. That's the thing. Is like you get primo gems from that, which is the pri primo currency. So it's like 
if you're a person who's playing the game, you can't not do it. Upon those words, she approached carefully, uh -huh. so the dragon would But did you hear that? Did you hear that? That gap in the dialogue, though. There's another one. The tactician is correct. We require a plan before we fight. It's like then it's literally. I know y'all were talking before about like the initiative. Kingdom Hearts. It's like dialogue in Kingdom Hearts, oh, where it's like me. Donald, Sora, thing. Goofy. Thank you. Placing the saddle on the right horse is the way of the world. Take your praise with pride. The tactician has fallen behind. Why does he falter? Why does the tactician Do falter? In a struggle? And you're like, is it over? Is it over? He promised to quell all no. draconic cataclysm. No. <laughs> Perhaps he is torn between myriad schemes. Through all faith and cynicism, mm -hmm. the cautious tactician. The cautious tactician. His face one of dismay and if you if you are not caught up with this, this act this is this has this is just a fairy tale that's playing. This isn't like related to lore or anything like that. This is just like the the whole story. It's just like kind of like um a fairy tale that's playing that doesn't have anything to do with the story. It's just for fun. It's just a little flavor. <laughs> This merciful like you're not you're not like oh if i knew who wicked dragon was oh, oh i would be like heart it'd be like heart wrenching i'd be like oh i can't believe you know wicked dragon was so bad in his early days no this is just just a fairy tale stood <laughs> Stopping just short from falling to his knees. Oh man. Now okay, the turn with attendant B it really gets you right in the feels. Around like uh the third chapter, second half. I mean attendant B really has some character development. Okay, so that was the first half of that. And there are five of these, by the way. So then there's the second half um of this the princess and her loyal uh that we will not be watching oh my god no 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 my god the strength it took me to sit there that whole time let me tell you Okay, so here we are in the real game um, where you can do things with, with your stamina, you can take on combat challenges, you can talk to this lady who's a robot, um, you can do the thing where you're like, get me some stuff, guys, go out, get me some stuff. Hey. Hey, get me some stuff. Hey. Hey, I'm collecting here. Hey. Um, yeah. And I am adventure rank uh, 59, as I said. Um, and you can see right here, uh, you get like various rewards for like all your levels that you have. Throughout your adventure rank. That's kind of like your just overall level that you have. Um, and it goes up to 60. And that's the max. Um, I'm like close, I'm close to that. Like pretty close, but it takes a while to get there. Um, they have a bunch of events like this, like this like this and like that where you can invite did i okay i don't think i did any of this so i can't so you can get a free invitation for official um 
but I, I have Fischl. Um, where is she? She's right there. I've got her. When you pull multiples of characters, they get a constellation. And I pulled a second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh copy of Fischl already, so I'm good. Um, I'll probably still do it. Pro probably. I've got a lot of stuff. I don't really pull much, but I've played this game for a long time. And I got a lot of stuff. I don't know how I got all that. I don't have the... I used to do, like, the $5 a month thing. But I haven't for a long time. And I just have a lot of stuff. But you can make wishes. I don't want her. But I... You know, but you can pull characters. There's um, a chance of that. Um, it's 0.6% chance. It's really 0.6%. Hmm. That's a, that's a, sorry. Is that a 0.6%? Huh. Huh. Um, <laughs> but after you do like, between somewhere between 50 and 100 pulls you'll get it for you'll get like a 100 percent chance of a drop and then the idea is like if you fail on that if you get someone other than this person um because it's 50 percent, the next time you get it you will actually definitely get them so you can like this amount no i can only do that um can be converted in the shop to, let's see how many. Um, 662 pulls. So it's like if someone came out that I wanted, sure, could get them. I don't. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's... It is a fun game. We could try playing it a little bit. So at some point, we'll, we'll get around to playing it. Can I sort by... Let's see. No, I want... It's like a new person. This is a new person that came out. This is an old... Uh, an older person, but like... I think they're slightly different in height. I can't tell. That might be a difference that they have. Oh, we, we already did, we already did this. We already did the thing where I make fun of Genshin Impact for having bad character design. I won't bore you anymore with that. I, we won't spend the entire stream doing that. They've got uh, daily quests which you can do which are all the same isn't it if you go 100 pulls without getting a five star you're guaranteed to get one so it's actually not like that it's like so you have a 0.6 percent chance um up to your 50 70th pull somewhere around there between 50 and 70 and then after that Every pull increases your chance of pulling them by like, like maybe like 1%, 5%, something like that. I don't know the exact rates, um, but it's like as it goes up, you get a larger chance of getting it until eventually it gets to 100%. So that's why it's like the pity rate is somewhere between 50 and 100. I don't know. Healthy body help. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, so my strategy is you Zhongli to make a shield, and that makes you invincible. And then you shoot this man in his face. 
And then you shoot that man in his face. Then you shoot that man in his face. But he's hiding behind a wall. So you shoot him around the wall. And then you're done. And then I've got some other characters. Um, like here, you can show strategy in a domain. Do I have any of the... I don't know if I do. Um, yeah, a lot of... Here, I'll show two different strategies. Here's one that I like. This one's... This is a fun... Ready for a rehearsal? Just like face roll kind of dungeon. Where it's, when I say dungeons, it's like a combat challenge. It's not like a dungeon dungeon. All right. But here we go. We get the we get the shield. Do this guy. He gives us a little attack boost. We get this. But this guy brings everybody together. Uh, and then we go into this mess and we shoot. And we shoot. I missed. And there we go. Sorry. Didn't work perfectly. But a good clear in 35 seconds. It's okay. I'm not going to watch this long cutscene. It's it's at least a half second longer than that. Yeah, and then you get some artifacts. Uh, artifacts. Have you played a game like this before? Have you played a game that has artifacts in it? You may have. They're everywhere. Where it's got random stats, random substats, and as you upgrade it, it upgrades random substats. And it's got different sets. Maybe a two-piece, four-piece. Have you played games like this before? I suspect you have. If you've played a free-to-play game. Uh, the trick is to do a lot of it. So if we look at what I have, um, I've tried to focus mainly for Ganyu on like crit damage and crit rate. So I find, try to find a lot of things that have substats of crit rate, crit rate, crit damage. Um, and I try to get it so that they get Upgraded. This one just has crit damage. This could do better. This one could be better. Uh, crit damage, crit rate, cryo damage bonus. Crit rate. No crit damage, though. See? It's like, I could be better. But uh, if you get a lot of that good stuff, I've got... You can go check the totals. Got crit rate of 60%. Crit damage, 142. Not bad. Um, and then other characters want other stuff, right? Venti, he loves Elemental Mastery. So Elemental Mastery 100. Been getting pretty good rolls on that. 40, eh. This one, main stat. Um, this one should be uh, changed into Elemental Mastery. Would be better. Yeah. Um, and so it's just about, like, finding good combinations. They also have, like, uh, different weapons you can have. Um, I mainly have four-star weapons. Five-star weapons, you actually, there's, like, a whole other gotcha for that. There's, like, a whole other gotcha for that. Um, listen, I, I ain't here to get, I don't give a shit about it. I somehow got this weapon, which is, like, her best weapon. I didn't pull it. I just pulled the regular thing, and it just gave it to me. It looks nice, though. But people are like, that's the best weapon for her. And I was like, okay. Okay. You say so, buddy. Um, yeah, so, like, there's that. And let, let's try doing that same dungeon with a different compilation. Composition. What did I say? Compilation? Check out my sick... 
Genshin compilation album. Okay. Let's use D Luke. He's different. Old different D Luke. Let's see how he does. Okay. The other three members of the party. I try not to vary them unless I have to. Alright. D Luke, he's a sword boy. He's got a sword, and boy, does he use it. Um, got Zhang Ling. She does a little circle of fire that goes around her. And she has a little friend. Spicy boyfriend. Um, and this is the shield man. You press E and his shield comes out and you're invincible. And Bennett puts down a little circle of fire that makes your damage go up. Alright, so let's, let's do it. I think we're gonna go over here. We don't have any kind of like gathering ability, so. Where's this asshole? Where does, where'd it go? Where'd it go? So, you know, using this suboptimal team, we actually have to contend with some of the mechanics. Like this guy who goes invisible. Which you may not have known, based on our, <laughs> our last one that we did. It took a lot longer. 90 seconds. Ugh. Disgusting. So that's why I don't that's why I don't use anything other than Ganyu. In reality. Again, unless I have to. That's the set we want. But we don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want that. So it's going in the garbage bin. But most of them do. I don't even pay attention to what I get. Uh, on PlayStation, they give you a really good sword at the start of the game for being a PlayStation player. They do. I have that. I have a PlayStation. Um, let's see. Here's my weps. You can get a big fish weapon if you want. Um, I think it's the Sword of Dissension. It's this one. Um, effective only on the pl platform PlayStation Network. I think that part's funny about it. It's like, yeah, it's a pretty good sword if you're on PlayStation. I'm on PC. So, no thanks. And we also get the Predator Bow. Only effective on the PlayStation Network. Uh, where, of course, well, I didn't show you all this. I didn't show you all this because I never use her. Uh, Aloy. Come back. Where to this time? Aloy. There she is from the hit game Horizon Zero Dawn. Aloy. Level 1 Aloy. Look at that. She's got them grenades. She could do something else, probably. She's not very good. Aloy. That's such, it's such a weird thing that they were like, we're going to have a collaboration character. Aloy. They should do Give me a moment to compose myself. what everyone else does and have a near automata I can't wait any longer. collaboration. But only after I've stopped playing the game. That's the law. The law is every game I stop playing has to have a near automata collaboration. Because that's how it goes usually. I said something and your Google Assistant started rattling off an address in Brooklyn. That's the ARG. All right, so we could try again with... This is a team that uses all different characters, right? All different. Except for Venti. Um, so this is all different, right? From the main team that we use. Except for Venti. But 
Venti is just for that domain because he's good in that domain. Um, I usually use Zhongling there. Um, so we've got Diona, Venti, Sangonomiya, Kokomi. When she runs around, she goes under the ice. It's pretty cool, but a lot of the time it gets stuck. And then you just wish she didn't do that. Um, got Diona, she's a little cat. She can deploy a shield like Zhongli, but hers is worse. Uh, Venti, you saw before, he does a little swirly swirl, um, which brings everybody together so you can kill them. And this is Songo no Miya Kokomi. Um, she shoots little like balls of water, but we don't really use that. We just kind of use her for her jellyfish. Uh, here, there's a jellyfish. All right. Um, and then we got the, so the jellyfish is out there. And jellyfish. Anyway. Let me do this, and people die. There we go. One minute. Again, double the time it takes with Ganyu. To be fair, I did not also use Bennett. Uh, Bennett, of course, a reference to Mr. Bennett. From the Jane Eyre novel. Yes. Uh, okay, so um, that's that. It's a number of different areas in this game. I I always show it off when I play. I don't know. You could check it out if you want. <laughs> different places to be. Some of them are pretty cool. I'll say. There's some places in this game that have like good design. Um, I'd say this one's a pretty good one. I like the design of this place. Uh, this is just some place you go to and you're like, oh, you can go here. Check it out. Um, actually, let's turn it to nighttime because I like it better in the nighttime. In the nighttime. Welcome to the nighttime. Oh my god. So this is what I'm talking about. She gets stuck. Like you wanna like go up here. But it's like, no. 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 Um I cannot configure party. Let me configure the fucking party. There we go. All right, so let's go up here. White Knight. Tired of all these white knights. We love to joke. We love to joke around here, folks. Yeah, look at that. Shit, I fell down. Next on the agenda. This place. This place is awesome. I love this place. Like, it's really cool design. It's got a bunch of, like, floating islands. It's, like, technically underground. But it doesn't feel that way. It's got puzzles that are not very fun. It's okay. That part's just ignore that part. Look at this. It's cool. Got a big light in the sky. Ruins and shit. You can go climb around. You can climb on top of that. It's a very cool place. And they say it gets colder. Um, if you think it's cold now, wait till you get older. Uh, then, they have places that are not very good, I think. I don't know. Let's go. Where is it? Where is a place? I don't know. 
you fall down the chasm well, on the wings of love play, I wish. Actually, I don't wish. Get the stream taken down. This place just is like a stinky, stinky dark place. Stinky dark land. It's got some purple stuff. Stinky poo poo dark land. Next on the agenda. Like it's also like an underground chasm. Except it like sucks. And like it's supposed to be stinky poo poo dark. I just don't think it looks very interesting. Um you know, that's that's the thing. There's like enemies you can fight. But I don't like it here. So we're not going to be here. Uh, let's see. Got a teapot. They like broke this for like two months. They were just like, Tea your teapot's broken. But it's like, um, you know, you could just make, I, I put all this stuff here. You can like drop some items down. Not very many. Like, I think I'm like pretty close to the load limit. But, I don't know, is there anything interesting? I kind of, I kind of stopped messing with this at a certain point because, uh, like, I hit the limit on how much you can put in there. My God, and because of this, it's like I want to put this Sheba into my into my friggin' place, but it's like, nope. Sorry, you can't. It's like, put some things away. You've got too much out. Simply too much. Really? I have too much? Th this is too much? This is too, this is too much stuff? Um, here, set, set, take. Wow. That was a lot of stuff. Can I put a Sheba? Yes. It's all worth it. I had two animals? Okay. Let's see. How many dogs can we get? Dog. Dog. No. Two dogs. No. No. Okay. Pig? Right, we have to get rid of dog for pig. There. One dog, one pig. Can't lose. Alright. Hey there, little guys. You know how much furniture I had to put away to get you in here? A lot. Now I'll walk around. This dog has a samurai hat. You can go inside. There's Mona. Mona is looking at the restaurant because she doesn't have any money. So she can't go inside the restaurant and order anything. And this is Zhang Wing. She like likes to cook, so she's in the restaurant and would gladly make food if someone could pay for it, but Mona can't. So you just stand outside and you look. Um, that's Kaya. He's the only person of color in this game, but I think he might just have a tan. But actually, the reason his skin is darker is because he's uh, 
part of an ancient race that was cursed to turn evil. And that's why his skin is darker than everyone else. Wow, that sounds problematic. Hmm, maybe it is. Yeah, yeah, I think it is. Anyway, uh, but yeah, look at that. If you if you really squint, you can tell that his skin is a little bit darker than other people. Look at that. Yeah, it's like if I put the swatches next to each other, I could definitely tell he's darker. Um, it is, it's made, this is, this game is made in China. They don't have any people of color there. Okay. So I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm not giving them an excuse. That's what people say. That's what people on the internet say. I, I love Kaya. He's, he's very like, I'm going to be a dick in, which is a personality that I find very fun. Um, I should go here. All right. Heads up. Genshin spoilers coming up. Major story spoilers. Major lore spoilers. But if you weren't able to guess this by playing like a little bit of the game. I don't know. This is pretty obvious to me. Okay. All right, here's the store. Here's the spoilers. Okay, spoilers upcoming. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee. -oo. I'll do another wee. -oo. If you want to mute it, I'll do another wee 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 when I'm done with the spoilers. Okay. All right. These guys are hilly churls. Uh, they're like the moblins. You know, in Zelda moblins. They fight moblins. Bop. Um, bark 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 bark. Uh, so they're like the moblins you fight in this game if you're gonna use a Zelda Breath of the Wild comparison, which you might based on this game um, They are little guys uh, Who were once human Okay, but they were turned evil by a curse um, That turned their skin dark And rib robbed them of their humanity and now you kill them indiscriminately. Anyway. So, I, let's... Are there implications we could think about that? Are there things about that that maybe seem... Let's say problematic in some way. Those are the sounds I make. Okay. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. Spoilers are over, folks. Folks, it's okay. Spoilers are over. Um, that was like a spoiler that they like revealed, but it was like a fan theory from like literally the beginning of the game because it was very obvious that that's what the case was. What's Michelle want? She's good. You can tell that she's good. How? I won't say. There's a daily quest where you co collect rent for a landlord. Um, to there's a day there's a character in this game. Called Ella Musk, who's a genius. It may be based on a real life character. Maybe that also has the same last name. If we want to see where the game's at, helping landlords and Stan and Elon Musk. You may ask yourself, Dan. Why have you been shitting on the game the entire time you've been playing this game? If you play this game? Why do, why do you play this game? It's because... The story. Look at the story. 
Look at this. Look. Wow. Go home and rest. Wow. I've I've seen this I've seen this quest seven hundred times. I may continue to shit. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's, it's just like some things you like to click buttons. I like to click buttons when the dialogue is happening in this game. Especially when I've seen it 700 times before. This is a blind lady. This lady's blind. Um, and she, her boyfriend isn't here. Her boyfriend abandoned her, but the boyfriend, like, was supposedly going to, like, a far-off country to, like, fight some some sort of battle. Um, but he's actually, like, uh, out here, like, right outside town. And he just, like, occasionally writes her a letter and lies about, like, the grand adventures he's been on. And sends it back to her and is like, wait for me, I'll be back. Because um, he's too embarrassed to tell her that he's just, like stationed outside the town um that's not that's not like a particularly like problematic story it's just like that guy sucks <laughs> it's just it's just more like i'm like that guy sucks i think he's meant to suck and just some people are meant to suck you know what i mean what Let's go check out um, Inazuma. Um, Inazuma is the, uh, I'll say like the latest place they added, but they added it quite a long time ago. That's why they had all these like additional islands that they've added to it. Um, it's very Japan place. Um, it's a very Japan place that they added. You can see everything is very Japan here and electric-y. Uh, each of the nations has like an element associated with it. This is the element of electricity island land that is also, it's Japan. And uh, this, they also, this one was China, which is like, it was very cool. It's like, like I think their, their land of leeway is very cool in its design, visual design. Um, obviously because like the creators are Chinese and like they, they put a lot of their own like culture and things into it. And it's like very cool. And like, I was like really like looking at Li Wei is like a really like refreshing, like, uh, fantasy world to be in that like, you don't get a lot, like you get a lot of like that first place we were showing, like, uh, which is called Mondstadt where it's like very um you know europe medieval europe and stuff but this place it's china it's cool the first area is based on um, breath of the wild uh but i guess you could also say like like medieval europe but this place is like you know it's china hey china i've heard of that place um, and then this third place is Japan. Um, so they've like been like tying each nation to like a real place, a real area of the world. This place is cool. I like this forest. There's like little guys, these guys. I actually don't like these guys. They talk too much, um, but it looks cool. A lot of stuff in Genshin looks cool. That's probably the real answer. It's like every once in a while, I get like a little nugget of something that looks really cool. And I'm like, damn, nice. Um, that's probably why I still play the game. If we're at the real answer. Um, poison is the next element. Well, it's not quite poison. The next element that's coming out fairly soon is dendro, uh, which is po it's poison, but it's like, grass also what 
abnormal quest dialogues. Daily check-in. Do a survey for Mora. I'm good, bro. I'm good. It takes more than 30,000 Mora to get me to go and open up a survey. Come on. You see how much, you see how much more I got? I got... Hold on. Hold on. I got... Hold on. What is that? Almost 10 million rolling in it. Um, but yeah, Dendro is the next element, which is not been implemented in any characters so far, um, but it's been very clearly shown that the next uh, nation or part of the world uh, that the next one is going to be based on is uh, an amalgamation of like the Middle East and um, India. It's, you know, seen both in like the names of like the places and the names of the people and not the skin color of the people. They're still all white, um, but like in the traditions and the culture and like the visual design of the architecture and not the skin color, definitely not the skin color. Um, those are all white still. Uh, But yeah, it's like uh, the Dendro place. I think I'm trying to remember what it's called. It's called like Bin Bindia. It's actually not a desert. Um, it's it's more like a lush kind of like foresty area. So definitely going more on the like uh, India side for that. Um, Violet grass is a plant it might have some desert areas, though. And is best pick but that's not what they're showing in the trailers, anyway. If you should choose to pick any, be sure to store them appropriately. Okay, be sure to store any flowers you pick appropriately, please. Here, let's go and... I'm trying to think of, like, what else we could show in the game. Because I could, like, do stuff. Oh, you know, we could fight some bosses. Those are always fun if you haven't seen them. Fighting bosses. It's a thing you can do. This is the first boss. It's also like the most different of all the bosses. Um, yeah. Confront Storm Terror. Boss spoilers coming up. Okay. This one's a dragon. Stabilize. Yeah, so this is, for me, like, I'm like, why you gotta do all that other stuff? I just wanna shoot a dragon. I just wanna shoot a dragon. He's gonna shoot a dragon. He's got a shield. Let me shoot him, his shield goes away. Then you climb up on his head. He's got a little spot. And here's what we do. Because that little fire thing. And then... Shoot him. Alright, he's dead. He had, like, mechanics and stuff, but we don't have to worry about that. You know, you don't need to worry about that. He's got mechanics. Those are for uh, the plebeians to deal with. These mechanics. Ugh. Uh, there's a wolf. We'll go through them all. Why not? Doesn't take very long. Look, I grab this. Um, here's how I like to get to the wolf. The wolf is like far from any kind of like warp points, so it's actually like annoying to get to but here's how i like to get there hi welcome to game tips dot faq underscore game i'm going to teach you the fastest way to get to the wolfman in genshin impact stay tuned
Hey guys, I'm back. So listen guys, the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna jump off that that hill right there, that one right there, okay? And then once you do that, uh, we're gonna run over here and just keep running, just go straight. You're gonna go towards the circle on the map, okay? See that circle on the map? Okay, then you're gonna run out of stamina. And when that happens, just walk. Okay, I got my stamina back. So now we're gonna keep on running. Now when you get here, uh, you're gonna see a boss, a big light and a sword, okay? That means that that's the boss. What you're gonna do is you're gonna change your party into a party that doesn't have ice damage because you can't do a ice damage to this guy. So we're gonna use this team. And we're also gonna change this to, um, well, mm, no, we're not. Okay. I was gonna change to official, but like. I honestly, I don't care. All fire, baby. Yes, yeah, so this is, he's like a little ice wolf. But you also can't do animo damage to him, which is what the game calls wind. Oops, I missed. All right, so this guy is a wolf, and he likes to do wolf stuff. Did you play Dark Souls? You remember when we played Dark Souls and there was a wolf boss? It's that. There's like a lot of stuff in this where I'm like, wow, it's very Dark Souls. Woo! I like to do that, that's fun. All right, so he, he like runs around. And does that. And he'll do this for a little while. Stabilize. <laughs> no, he's done. Okay. Look at me. I'm standing there and watching. It's like, yeah? Yeah, what's up? Okay. Now he's dead. Uh, and the game does have stamina. It's like to claim rewards on things, you need to use your stamina. Which thankfully I have like a lot of ways to replenish. I have 63 uh, replenishing tokens. Because usually it's like I don't even really use all my stamina during the day. I like kind of like I log in once, dump that bar, and then I'm like, I'm I'm good, I'm good. Okay, then the next boss that they released was here in Liwe. It was this guy? I hardly ever do this one. Listen, as long as you stick to your own path. It doesn't matter what Mother Nature throws at you. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right. We can go back with Ganyu now. This opportunity is quite hard to come by. Look, well, child. Amuse me. Surrender is a valid He was option. bad the whole time. I promise I'll be gentle. I, I, I don't think that's actually anything that was ever in question. Becoming. Okay, so you that's his first form. Not bad. You've got a tr right. oh. My shield went down. Okay, that's the second form. Let's watch this anime cutscene. Hell yeah. Looks like I have to go all out. Tartaglia. Wind slash. It 
Electro Blast. It's a cool eye glow. Okay, I'm gonna do that, do that, do that. And we're gonna shoot him in the face a little bit. Oh, sorry, just one, just once. Okay, he's dead. He's dead, folks. It's okay. And these guys are like, don't go in there. I'm, I was like, I was just there. I just went in. The next boss that they did was this guy. The Dragon Queller. Okay, so you can see on the outside, um, this one actually rotates elements that it uses every week. So this one uses ice and water. So, probably be a good idea to not bring an ice character. But I'm going to do it anyway. Let's see how it goes. Probably not that bad. Okay, so the big deal, yeah, level 90 is the max. This guy's level 90. Azidaha. Morax, who could that be? No spoilers. Fisher, Fisher Price. Man, I gotta run away. The enraged earth will not absolve you. And you kinda can't damage him after a certain point. He kinda stops taking damage. You just kinda gotta wait. That's uh, if I could like voice a complaint here. I know it's rare for this street for me to well, Dan, are you are you voicing a complaint about Genshin Impact? Is there something about this game maybe that you don't enjoy 100%? I know, it sounds weird, but it's true. Um, the bosses have a lot of phases where they just, you can't damage them. And you just gotta sit there and wait. Much like the story, there's a lot of sitting around and waiting for things to happen. I think we're far enough away. Yeah, I can't damage him anymore. You see the health bar's not going down. You stand upon your tomb, though you know it not. I think you stand upon your tomb, but you know it not. Got him. Okay. Time to experience an eon of suffering. That's what I say anytime there's a story. Update and Genshin Impact. Time to experience an eon of suffering. Okay. Now he's dead, but not not for real. He's not fully dead. We have to wait for him to decide that he's dead. Okay. We should come up, and then now he's dead. Oh, more axe. The per who is that? Morax. Who could Morax be? Morax, I've never seen that person before. Is that the alternate name of a character? What? Who could that character be? No, no way to no way to know for sure. No one. Who knows? Who can say? Oh, right, Battle Pass. Forgot about that. Battle Pass. Y'all like Battle Passes? They've got one. You could get the advanced one. I don't recommend doing that. Um, like, I I got it, like, when the game first came out, because I was like, look at all this stuff you get. Uh, but I don't, I don't want any of this stuff. 
kidding me? Like, literally the only value I feel like you get is, like, the actual, like, currency, like the fates and the gems. But, like, even that is not even that much value, frankly. I would say, honestly, for anyone who wants to, like, pay money to Genshin Impact, one... Have you considered a, a subscription to the Hell Zone instead? It's the same price, but you get way better content, let me tell you. Um, but and let's say you already have one. I would get this, the Welkin Moon. I got it for a little while, as you can see. It's, you know, it's about the same as a monthly pass to the Hell Zone. But again, not as much value. You get, I mean, if we're talking about currency, you like double your hell bucks, you know, with uh, a blessing of the hell zone moon card. And I feel like that's that's way better than the rates that they give you in Genshin Impact. Um, can you pull as many ca uh, characters with hell bucks? It depends on how much you want to, uh, you know, kind of abstract the idea of that that statement. Maybe <laughs> if you want to like take that statement and twist it in like all sorts of ways, and maybe you could say you pull more people. Maybe if you consider uh, anime characters to be like point redemption rewards, maybe it's more. Okay, I don't think there was anything else that they added in between this other than Tenchukaku. That's right, you can access to the only dance channel. Okay, that keeps popping up, the exclamation point. Makes me want to click it. I've already been trained not to click this one because here's, here, so here's the thing with, with that exclamation point. It's telling me to go to this constellation and to activate this because I have, uh, let's see, a bunch of those. Or it's like, hey, you know, you, you got a duplicate of this. You could unlock the final thing. But the thing is, it's like everyone knows who plays this game. They're like, do not activate Bennett's final constellation. You will ruin Bennett. Just like how in uh, Jane Eyre, you know, or is it Pride and Prejudice? I think it's Jane Eyre, where Mr. Bennett, uh, you know, their family's ruined because of financial collapse. And I think that's a, it's, it's a really, it's a, it's a Jane Austen reference that is done, done so well in this game. Okay. Now, this is another battle where you shouldn't bring an ice character because there's an ice phase and a fire phase. Pride and Prejudice. Okay, Mr. Bennett's from Pride and Prejudice. I get them confused sometimes. P and P. All right. Here's La Senora. So she was a character that they uh, announced back in the beginning of the game when they had good character designs. Um, and they always teased her as being a playable character, but that seems to not be the case anymore for reasons that may become clear during the course of this battle. Uh, yeah, so she's in an ice form right now, so really not a great idea to be attacking her with with ice. Born of ice and frost. She just said it, born of ice and frost. But listen. I don't want to do anything else. Okay. So you hit these things and that little bar. You see there's a bar above my um, 
health bar sometimes. Uh, that goes up. It's That's your freezing meter. If it gets all the way up to the top, you're going to freeze. You know how, like, in Breath of the Wild, if you went to a freezy cold area, it's like, they, like, put that in as a mechanic in the game, and then they're like, what if we had that in boss fights? Um, oh, I need... Okay, now we're done. Uh, so we had to melt her ice shield. And then... Just like in the child battle that we did before, she has a second form. <laughs> but her second form is Fire Lady. Rosaline Kuchka Pakushka Boot, something. I don't know. I couldn't read the rest of that. Um, okay. Damn. No. No, please don't whip me. Oh no, please. No, please don't do that. Okay. This boss, I don't like. She turns into butterflies, and you can't damage her. And then she will, like, follow that move up by turning into more butterflies and moving somewhere else where you can't damage her. And then sometimes she'll turn into a tornado. And you can't damage her. Like that. So, we're just gonna wait for her to stop being a tornado. You know, anytime. There we go. No more tornado. Oh no, she's a butterfly again. No, she's a butterfly again. Okay. God damn it. I spent too much time trying to avoid this butterfly lady. Just keeps turning into butterflies. Oh shit, did Gan I think Ganyu might have died again. It's okay. We'll just do some other things. There we go. There we go. All done. Yeah. It's, it's like, there's more and more of that as they design more of the bosses. And it's like... Kind of... Just want to beat them, you know? Because these are, these are weekly bosses, basically. Uh, that you can do, and you can, like, beat them up once a week. Um, and there's one more that they added. Oh, yeah, okay, so the thing is that, like, she's dead now. Um, <laughs> is that they killed Senora, and she died for real in that battle. Um, and they, like, had, like, a funeral for her in a different different cutscene. And, <laughs> and they were, like, they had, like, a, a, a message that came out that said, Senora's really dead. She's She's super dead. She's completely dead. She's she's never going to be a playable character. That they, they had um, they had a lady come on screen. Is this lady actually? Is this lady? She said, "Hi, I just want you to know that if you wanted to play a Signora, it's never going to happen. She's dead for real. Bye." So that's 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 the thing that happened. Okay, wait. Before we go in here. This one's a little bit frustrating. So I'm going to put on my, my NRE, my knee, my kneel ready to eat. I assume that's what NRE stands for. All right, this time I'm going to fight the God of Thunder. Um, but actually, okay, so we're not fighting the God of Thunder. We're fighting... The Raiden Shogun. 
who looks like the God of Thunder. She's like that lady. Um, but that's actually a robot, okay? That's a bad version robot of her. Um, and she's not the real one, right? She's the bad one. And then there's a good one that is the same, but it's, it's the good one. And that's the one that you get to hang out with in the story. And that's how they explain why, like, the, the, they were bad. Oh, okay, hold on. I didn't do it. It's okay. I don't care. Um, that was such a stupid thing in the story. So, when Inazuma was coming out, they hyped up how, like, the Thunder God was going to be a character that you're like, oh, like, it's your enemy. Because up until this point, like, um, the, the gods, there's like a god of each region. Like, this guy is the god of, of Liwe. Uh, Venti, the wind guy from before, is the god of the uh, first region. Um, and this is the god of the Inazuma, the thunder region. Um, and they were like, but she's going to be your enemy. And then people are like, whoa, how are they going to make it so she's also a playable character? How are they going to make it, like, so that, like, she becomes good? Like, where you're like, oh, I care about her now. Um, okay, we destroyed that thing, so we're fine. Okay, so you might notice that, like, she's taken no damage. That's because she's taken no damage so far. We have to destroy her shield, the purple bar below there. And only when we destroy the shield can we damage her health. Uh -huh. So now we can damage her health. For a little while. And she'll just stand here while we kill her. Then she'll start moving again, and it kind of sucks. This is, like, I don't like using the bow on this because people are so small. It's very easy to miss. And she also, like, teleports. She is the character... Okay, hold on. That one's real. No, that one's real. You can tell because her, like, slashy slash that she does is a little different. Uh, one of the shadows has, like, two slashes when they do the slash. And that's how you know that she's real. But then again, she isn't real. You have to keep that in mind. She's not real. Uh, the real... The real A... E-I... Lady... She lives in the dream realm. Uh, and she's just kind of taking a nap there until you beat the story um, and shut down the robot that she was having run the country. Uh, and then once you defeat the robot, um, you can be friends with the real lady. Um, so it's, that's, that's what I did. I beat the, beat the robot lady, and I'm friends with the real lady. But then later, they made the robot lady good. They said, we reprogrammed her, so she's good too. So don't worry about it. No, no conflict. Don't worry. If you were worried there was an evil character, don't worry. Her skin's too light for that. It's okay. Um, I mean, it's... So it's child is a bad guy, you know. We'll say that that he's he's a bad guy. He's with the Russians. The Russians are the bad guys, by the way. Um, so that part isn't racist. That part's totally not racist. That's it's, it's xenophobic. Okay. Um, yeah, they're from uh, they're Fatui from Fat Fat Russia. Patricia, it's called. Um, and they're the bad guys. And whenever there's something that bad happens, they're there. And they're like, hmm, 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 we're going to be bad. And sometimes they're like, the, the story will be like, uh, they're not all bad. 
why do you just assume that they're bad because of the country that they come from? And it's like, because you make them come from the bad person country, dog. Because they're, <laughs> they're the enemies you fight everywhere in the game, dog. But they're like, mm, but what if there's one that's good? And it's like, okay. Okay, I guess. You're right. Racism over. You solved it. Xenophobia gone. Faith in humanity restored. Hell yeah. We're way behind schedule. Huh? Okay, here's here's more of the bad evil guys. They're being led by um a wizard guy. The Wizrobe. You see the Wizrobe from Zelda? They're being led by a Wizrobe. And that's he's from the Abyss Order. They're like they're the evil people who uh, want to save the hilly churls. We're way behind schedule. So that makes them evil. Um, right? They they want to fight for their rights and to break the curse and to bring about a new world order. They're bad. Oh, here's Elon Musk Reef. This is where Elon Musk. Elon Musk is named after Elon Musk. Um, let's go to the library. We can see. That's that's a good one. We got it. We got to see Elon Musk. Voxel, you got all ten blues. Dislike your pull. Yeah. Same. I was like. I think it would be cool. Arasap, been having a good time. I'm glad. <laughs> uh, um, where, where is that? Where the fuck is the library? Okay, so this is from the first chapter when the writing was good. Um, but I think... Um, this is pretty funny. So, all right, let's show you. So, like I said, this is the god of this area. Uh, he's like a traveling bard, but the people don't know that. And so, like, they made, like, statues to him, like, based on what they thought that he looked like. And they got it pretty much right, but not, which I think is very funny. So, it's like they just have this big statue of what they call Barbados, who's the god, and he just goes by the name Venti, and he's just like a little child boy who just like likes to drink alcohol it's 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 pretty funny that part's like like i honestly i feel like early genshin has good writing and then it's been very very hit or miss we'll say there have been some good parts but Mostly Arataki Ito. So this is the library, and here's Elon Musk. She studies uh, linguistics of the Hillichurls. That's the language they speak. Uh, who are you? I'm Elon Musk, professor of Hillichurlian linguistics. Specifically, I specialize in applied grammar for vernacular Hillichurlian. Oh, are you interested in these things as well? If you're really interested in read this book. Fuck you. Thanks. I don't think she gave me anything. Maybe I had that book already. Um, and... Who's the other person that I thought was funny? Oh, okay, I think it's over here. Okay. It's from their big Ice Mountain content expansion. There's the Ice Mountain. It's like cold up there. That's that's where they kind of like had the um, Breath of the Wild freezing mechanic come in. Which I, I didn't explain it in the fight because I got distracted. But um, the red bar was the same thing, but for heat. 
They haven't actually put that in an area yet, but since it's the same thing, I mean, I guess it's probably not. It's probably the same thing. And you can climb everything in this game, which is part of what I like about it. Like, it's just like, hey, I'm climbing on shit. It's this wall. It's like, whatever. Okay. Um, so I was saying how there's like, not every, like, Fatui got, or not Fatui, like, per, I forget the country they're from. I don't know, from Russia. Every Not every Russian person is evil in this, okay? This one, this one is just greedy. Right, so he's a very well, Shneznaya, that's it. Um, the, the totally not Russia place. Uh, so yeah, he's not, he's not evil. He's just greedy. Which is totally not something people associate with being evil or bad. He's, you see, you see, it's just our own preconceptions of the world and things and stuff. That's all. Let's go to Elon Musk Reef. So this is um, their like monthly content that they have. Um, where you can do stuff and it changes and you get like floors to travel and they give you enemies to fight like this one this guy's an ice guy and this one well we fought both of these before All right, but the thing is you gotta do two teams so I can't just use Ganyu everywhere what what is that are you telling me I've got to use more than four people I better I better pull some more units Um, and then we'll go with D Luke, I guess. Um, it's not a very good combo, but I might as well use Venti. And I guess you're fine. And you, okay, this is, I don't know about this team. Yeah, it's, I guess it's okay. Whatever, whatever, it's okay. All right, and you get like, look at this. It's a roguelike, barely. Because there's really only one choice, and it's that one. Okay, so we are going to, it's a time-based challenge. They're, they're all time-based challenges, um, which I kind of don't like. Because it's like, oh yeah, like, Beat it in this amount of time. Or try it again. Uh, thankfully, they give you kind of like a lot of time, at least in the first couple floors. Then eventually they don't. Alright, and so it like... Basically, your time carries over, so I've got like nine minutes, and they want you to beat it in five. And I think that'll be fine. Alright, good night, Voxel. Pop, pop. Okay, and we're done. There we go. Look at that. And this is uh, what everyone like refers to as like the end game content because like after you've beaten like the story and all that, like this is pretty much that highest level stuff that you have to do. Um, 
the ones that are effective this floor will go for each chamber in the floor. Uh, so it'll be like effective for the uh, groups of three. So basically the way that you can remember it, if, if you don't want to, is just pick the blue ones. And pick the blue ones that are not making it easier to survive because it's not hard to survive, at least if you are level 90 and all that. Okay. And these are all Fatui's. Like I said, they're the bad guys. Uh, as you can see. I thought that they were just like big, big guys. And I thought that was pretty cool. Eventually they re they revealed that they're just wearing suits. And I was like, man, that's, that's so lame. They're wearing like robot suits and there's like regular sized people inside. Like regular ass people in there. They're like, I was like, oh man, that's cool. People of other body types. No, robots. Man, I've spent so much time just complaining about like the lack of diversity in like faces and skin color, like. I haven't even talked about how, like, they have one body type. Like, literally, like, there's one character model in this game. Okay, I mean, lit literally, there's four. But they're just various iterations on tall. They're like, you're not... Replace my, my, my hammer, man. Picked, 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 picked the wrong target. The wrong test subject. Next on the agenda. I wasn't done. These guys are thieves. See, like they have, they have a larger size guy there. They just won't let you play as him. All right, third one. It doesn't matter again because it's the last one in the set. So you could pick whatever you want, but I always just pick the thing that does more damage. Just whatever does more damage. Time to right. act. Let me weave you over. Flames purge. Flames purge. Lay waste to this wicked. Yep. Okay. We got that guy. He's dead. And now the trick is there's two of them. Oh, never mind, they're dead. And we have to beat it in several minutes, I think we have. We have several minutes left. Where the fuck did he go? Okay, there he is. And then it's a new floor. We don't have to do all the floors. I mean, we can. I don't care. I'll do all the floors. Um, but so depending on how well you do, you get rewards. If you hit all the time objectives, you can get nine out of nine, and you get a hundred fifty primo gems bi monthly. It is on the fifteenth and the thirtieth it resets, and. I always forget to do it. I always forget. It's like 
you're just throwing primo gems away. But I always forget. I'm like, I'm like, oh damn, it's the fifteenth. God damn it. And that's just me being a busy person, I guess. Uh, but one fifty, not very much. It's uh, what? It's ten less than what you need to wish for a character. So it's like each floor you do the best on will get you almost enough to do a pull. If you do the best. And they get pretty hard. Not because they're hard, but because um, they are a little bit bullshit. Let's see if we can see what they have. Yeah, like this. Ruin Serpent. This guy spends... No joke, I think... 50% of its existence underground, where you can't damage it. Um, this one, long periods of time where you can't damage it. Um, these ones are okay. Um, those ones, they're okay. Let's see. This one, long periods of time where you can't damage it. Um think you can damage these all the time, but these ones can fuck right off. And, like, they're not hard to beat. They're hard to beat fast. And that's what you need to do if you want to get the reports. So you got to beat them fast. Because they're like, oh, you got to get three stars. you got to get nine stars to get the full 150. Don't you want those Primo Gems? I've never known if they're primo gems or primo gems. I like calling them primo gems because it makes me think they're like, mm, that's some primo shit you got there. And those gems, that's some primo shit. Hell yeah. Um, what's up, anime? Have you played this game? It might make you uwu because it's fairly anime. Here, let's go do it. One of the things in this event. They've got like stuff. They got stuff. Let's do stuff. Look at that. Look at that. That's the thing. That's the thing right there. You could go up here. You could like change it. It'd be like make it different. And look at that. It's different. It's different. Maybe like, look, maybe I want to make it like this. Maybe I want to make it like this. It's, it's different. This, this is not the same. It's different. You know? You know what I'm saying? Um. And look, there's an anime boy you could talk to. I literally thought this was the main character. Like... When they release this character, um, they look so similar to the male version of the protagonist that I literally thought it was like, oh, okay, so this is like an alternate dimension version of the main character. Oh, well, that could be an interesting story. He's just a different guy. He just looks exactly the same. He's just a different guy. There's nothing about it in the story. Um, but anyway, the thing we're doing here is this. Okay. I don't know anything about this. Ben beneficent summation. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, beneficent summation. Reading any terminology that they have for anything in this game. Wild. Absolutely wild. Um, hold on. Can we... Here. Normal attack. Uh, 
Liushin Archery. Perform a more precise aimed shot with increased damage while aiming an icy aura will accumulate on the arrowhead. Uh, based on, right, yeah, fires, love, charge level one, fires off icy arrow, fires off frost flake arrow. Or the frost flake arrow will bloom after hitting its target, dealing AoE cryo damage. That's the normal attack. That's just clicking the left button. Um, leaving a single ice lotus behind, Ganyu dashes backwards, shunning all impurity and dealing AoE cryo damage. Ice Lotus continuously taunts surrounding opponents, attracting them to attack it. Endurance scales based on Ganyu's max HP blooms profusely when destroyed, or once its duration ends, dealing AoE cryo damage. And, like, that's pretty straightforward to understand. Like, there is some, like, that get honestly, like, real, like, head scratchy. Like, let's talk about Ido. He's, like, a character I like, but, like, I had to look up how he works. Because this is his normal attack. Perform up to four consecutive strikes. Got it. When the second and fourth strikes hit opponents, Ito will gain one and two stacks of superlative super strength, respectively. Max five stacks. Okay. Triggering this effect will refresh the current duration of any existing stacks. Additionally, Ito's normal attack combo does not immediately reset after sprinting or using his elemental skill, Masatsu Zen Zetsugi uh, Aka Ushi Burst. Okay, what is that? That's okay, that's the normal attack. That's when I click the left mouse button. When holding to perform a charged attack, Ito unleashes a series of Arataki. Kesagiri slashes without consuming stamina. Instead, each Arataki Kesagiri slash consumes one stack of superlative super strength. When the final stack is consumed, Ito delivers a powerful final slash. If no stacks of superlative super strength are available, Ito will perform a single Saichi Manji slash. What? That's when I hold the that's when I hold the mouse button, right? Yes. Plunging strike plunges from midair to strike the ground, damaging opponents among the path and dealing AoE damage upon impact. Okay, that's just if you're in the air and you do that. Okay. Allow me to cross-reference from before. Okay. Masatsu Zetsugi Akaushi Burst. That's... This Masatsu Zetsugi Akaushi Burst. Okay, so this this will not this will we'll be able to combo if we do that. If we do this while we're attacking, it does not. Okay, so we can we can uh, not we can go. We have this. All right. Hurls Ushi, the young Akaushi Bull, an auxiliary member of the Arataki gang, dealing geo damage to opponents on hit. When Ushi hits opponents, Arataki Ito gains one stack of superlative super strength. Okay, that's the thing from before. Okay, I'm making a note of this. That will gain one and two stacks, but maybe a third stack if you want this one, so we can get a total of four stacks if you use this. Ushi will remain on the field and provide support in the following ways taunts surrounding opponents and draws their attacks, inherits inherits HP based on a percentage of Arataki Ito's max HP. When Ushi takes damage, Arataki Ito gains one stack of superlative super strength. Another one? Only one stack can be gained in this way every two seconds. Okay, I'll count it. I'll make sure that I'm counting whenever I get one. Ushi will flee when its HP reaches zero or the duration ends. It will grant Arataki Ito one stack of superlative super strength when it leaves. When it, okay, I'll make sure I look for that, I guess. Hold, adjust throwing angle. Ushi is considered a geo construct. Arataki Ito can only deploy one Ushi on the field at any time. Okay, this is when I push the E button, right? Yes, that's that. And what's this? Royal Descent, behold Ito the evil. Time to show him the might of Arataki gang. For a time, Ito lets out his inner raging Oni King wielding his Oni King's Kanabu in battle. This state has the following special properties. Converts Itu's normal charged and plunging attacks to geo damage. This cannot be overridden. Increases Ito's normal attack speed. Also increases his attack based on his death. On hit, 
first and third attacks of his attack combo will each grant Arataki a one stack of superlative super... Okay. The, the first and third... First and third strikes of his attack combo will also grant Arataki Ito a stack of superlative super strength. This is in addition to the one and two stacks respectively that he gains on the second and fourth strikes. So that means while this state is enabled and only while this state is enabled, the first, second, third, and fourth attacks will all give you one stack except for the fourth one, which will give you two. Okay. But not while but it's only while this is enabled. And also, if you use this or it takes damage or it flees, you'll also get another. You got that? Okay. It also decreases Ito's elemental and physical resistance. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Um, okay, when Arataki Ito uses consecutive Arataki Kesarigi Kesagiri, he obtains the following effects. What is that? Did we just read that? Is that a word on this screen? Ar Arataki Kesagiri. That's not on the screen consecutive how do i do consecutive things i don't have is it one of the secret words that are in here hartaki kusaragi where is that i apologize for forgetting the terminology it's a lot of words that are being thrown at me and I don't think I would remember them no matter what they were. Okay, okay. I found it. Arataki Kesagiri are when you hold the click button. You hold your attack button. And you consume superlative super strength. When you use consecutives of that, each slash increases the attack speed of the next one by 10% and increases your resistance to heat interruption. But it will be cleared when you stop performing consecutive slashes. That is information on this fourth clicky, not on this first one where it tells you what the fuck that is. Um, and this is a passive. Thank God, it's a passive. You don't have to think about it. Damage is increased by 35% of his defense. No. Arataki Kesagiri. I thought it said Arataki Ito because I just read that. No, it's only the hold strikes are increased by your defense. And you can get more wood from a tree. That doesn't matter. Oh my God. So... The thing is, this gives me fucking migraine looking at it. He's so cool. I like him. I have to look up a video guide to see how this person plays. Because I don't know. I've read that several times. And, <laughs> and I don't know what any of that means. Look at all this. What is that? I don't know. I'm When I actually can play this guy, when I get a good enough artifact set to make it worthwhile to play this guy when i finally um upgrade this character who is required to use him in a party basically from what people say the secondary character what does he do i don't know he's a he's a fox boy but i have to level him up and read all his talents to figure out what this does and learn about what the geo general's war banner and the crunch and the forward unto victory and the general's war banner and the crystal collapse and the heedless wind of the wind and weather and the juga forward unto victory and the favor repaid 
I don't have to learn what all that does. And when I do that, then I can consider, potentially, in the future, using our Ataki Ito. I am the man. And he is the man. Zero. Um. Hold on. Let's just fight something. Because I want to show you what all that stuff I read is. Oh, it's a chest. I haven't done this island yet. Right, let's go to these innocent hilly trolls right here and kill them. Okay. So. One, two, three, four. Okay. We have three stacks. You can see it because of the thing behind me now. One, one, two, three, four. Okay, we've got five. I think we have five now. Um, yeah, okay, five. So now if we hold the button, that uses them up. Okay. That is the basic idea. How many you get, and when you get them, we only get them on two and four, on our second and fourth hit. So you have to be paying attention in battle for that. Hold on, let's... I can't open it up. I can kill that guy. Oh, I know how to open up this chest. Ho ho. Stabilize. All right, so we got one, two, three. And then we should have three stacks, right? It says three right there. And then we hold it, we use them up. Okay, and are they cleared when we change? They're not cleared when we change. Okay, now I should have all of them. It's weird because like I need to like face him away from the camera to like look at how many I have. Like I can't tell how many I have right now. Only like this. Um, but then if we go, we go like this, use our burst, and we make one on every hit. So it's like one, two, three, four. We should have enough now. So, so the way it flows, it's pretty good on that. Um, yeah, so... It could be explained so much easier, I feel like. Like, it feels like almost intuitive when you play it. But like, because I read all of that stuff, I'm like... I must not be getting this. And I'm definitely going to watch like some sort of video guide at some point when I can play as this guy. Because um, I'm sure there's some aspect of this I'm not getting. Um, but I think it's like you attack, you get stacks, and then you hold the attack button to use the stacks. Seeing the stacks kind of sucks because if you're facing the camera, if you're facing this way, that way, any direction other than this, you can't see how many you have. I'd rather have like a number appear, say somewhere on the screen to show me. Um, but I guess I can't have that. Um, but yeah, so we get a stack when we put that little map. Look at that thing. Like honestly, that cow man, that cow man that you put out, Can't catch me. large percentage of why I wanted this guy. He's also cool. I like him. He's funny. Max Middleman does a great job with the character. Honestly, one of the best characters that they put out since the game came out in terms of a character. Um, he's always a delight anytime you see him. And... That. He's got a cow friend and he's just fucking dancing. I wish I could have him as my friend to just hang around with me. Look at that. Working it. Like, there is nothing better in this game 
than cow friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, there's so many things in this game that are annoying as hell, <laughs> that suck, that are questionable at best. I got cow man. Fucking cow man. Just grooving. Yeah. Um, they have like a pet system in this game. It's like you could get like a little doll made of paper to follow you. You could get like this to follow you. You could get that to follow you. Where's the cow? Where's the cow? I want to play with the cow. I just want my cow friend. Why can't I have my cow friend? Can I? Are talking numero uno ito here in the flesh. <laughs> cow. Let's roll. He does a little moo. He's great. I love that cow. Um, another thing about Arataki Ito. I pulled him three times. I didn't try to pull him three times, it just happened. So now I feel like I'd like have to use him. And it's and that's like another thing, it's like that sometimes totally changes the character. Another toxic thing kind of about the gotcha is that like you kind of are pressured to pull them uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven times <laughs> uh, to get like the good shit, the good passives. Like this one, Artaki Ito's charged attacks deal 70 extra damage, 70% extra damage, and have a 50% chance of not consuming the stacks. What? That's amazing. Um,. When the, 20, 20%. Okay, that's not great. But that's the thing. It's like, they're like, you want to get this one. And then it's like, I don't know, you can have three extra stacks, three levels. You get three levels on this. So you get like 20% defense or 70% extra damage. What? It's crit damage, not damage technically. But if you have 100% crit, it's 70% extra damage. Um, but the things I did get are like, after using Royal Descent, Behold Ito the Evil, I think that's the burst attack. Two stacks of super strength. After one second, you'll gain one stack every 5.5 seconds for 1.5 seconds. This is an additional layer that like I don't need. On top of how confused I get, about everything else to do with this character. Okay, so now, now I have to, let's go back to my other tab, the talents. Okay, Royal Descent, Behold Edo the Evil. Okay, so then after I use this, I get two stacks of it automatically. And one every 0.5 seconds for 1.5 seconds, three, three extra, total of five, but not right away. What? And that's in addition, do I get any by just using this normally? No, just when you attack. So you have some from this and it's like, you only have a max of five stacks. So like, you're like, I don't wanna like waste any. I want to be using those stacks. And then, okay, after using the same thing, the burst, each party member whose element is Geo will decrease that skills, that skills, cool down by 1.5 seconds and restore six energy to Arataki Ito. Can be decreased by up to 4.5. So if you're three, three other, three, oh, three in total, okay. Max 18 energy can be restored, three in total. So another thing with him, in addition to all that other shit, is that you kind of need to put him in a party 
That's best flavor in the world. Oh man, I don't know the best flavor in the world. Uh, you need them in a party that has three Geo characters. Got my man Zhang Li. Gives you the sh Zhang Li is so simple. You push E, he gives you a shield. You don't take damage. It's all you need with him. And, oh, it is perfection. Is there complicated words that they use to say that? Maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Let's take a pick. A little quick pick. Okay. Creates a stone steel. Stele. Stone stele. A shield of jade. Okay, they wrote so much of this. But it gives you a shield. You get shield is good. Have shield, no damage. That's you push button, have shield, no damage. Um, this guy, I don't know what the fuck he does. I don't know. I, I got him not too long ago. He uses really annoying things to level up. Also, Same face? Same same face? Same face. Um and Bennett. 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 Uh the reason you use him is because his ability, boom, he puts down a, a circle that has a big thumbs up. And that circle makes your damage go up. You get big damage. Boom. What else do you need? No damage. Do Take no damage. Do big damage. This guy. Ito. It's a good party. But the problem is... To level this guy up... You need... Spectral Husks. And to get Spectral Husks... You have to fight the worst enemy in the game. And this is after I just leveled up Sangonami Kokomi. I'm still never used. Um, who uses the same thing? So it's like, oh my god, I have to fight more of these fucking guys. No. More of these fucking guys. Um, but hold on. Hold on a second. Let's see if we can do a fun, like, um, same face party. Okay. I was inspired. Can we sort by character model? Prepare to move out. Okay. How is this? Are these all the same person? Could we do better? Let's let's get rid of one. Like these guys even have the same pants. Look, same pants. Uh, no, I have different colored shoes, and I've got open-toed sandals. Um, they part their hair differently. All right, this one's a fox boy. So let's try and find one that's not a fox boy. Hmm. Yeah, same same face, same face. Do they have any difference in like the shape of their face? Are we can we get up in there? Can we get up in there on that little boy? Wait, who said that? You said that. You you said no, I didn't say that. You said that. Um. Okay. I'm sure we have others. This guy? Same face? I'll watch your back. Same face. But he's got like, he's like a wolf boy. Um, you know, I don't even think they go far enough on the furry angle, right? Like they're trying a little bit. They're trying a little bit, but like, 
and just play like Ark Knights or something. Like, they got you covered on the furry. Okay, uh, let's do same face for these guys. What shall we do? Um, Step aside. Ito's back let's in see. town. Let's finish this swiftly. Like, this one will hurt because I like them the most. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. I'll give them this for the dark skin. Okay. Do I? I don't think I have that many. Of, of tall male model. But why male models? Oh, this guy. Totally same face for the rest of it, for that other one. Yeah. Okay. But why male models? Okay, I don't have any more. All right, they get a pass. Nice. Okay. All right. This one, like every everyone has this model. Do you have that model? Wish me luck. You do, actually. I think we might be able to do like it's it's hard because I don't have all the characters. Oh, how exciting. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. Same. Let's go. Time is against us. Same. Oh, definitely same. We'll need a strategy. Definite same. These two characters were in the same, like, chapter, the Inazuma chapter, one after another. If it weren't for the different hair, I might think they're the same person. That's all I'm saying. I think of these, Kuching is the most different. Mona, Mona's very different. Like, yes, she has the same everything, right? But she has a little bit of a scowl, right? Different facial expression. Um, and Big Hat. I'm biased, but Big Hat gets you different. Big Hat gets you the different award. Uh, I also don't pull a lot of characters. So this is just what I happen to have. I can't wait any longer. She has different eyebrows. Is that different enough to call her different? Might be. Um, you might be tall lady. I think this might be tall lady model. I will lead yeah, that's tall victory. lady model. That's a different thing. Um, tall lady, totally different than, sh than shorter lady. Man, that's like their flagship character. To have flagship character be like also same face with the rest of them. Like, I don't know. He's a little shorter. He's a little bit shorter. If we were to line him up by height. Are you... In the name of the princess. Okay, you are. You are. She is also. She has an eye patch, though. She's got the funky, funky eye patch. But then again, she also has the funky, funky eye patch as well. So, don't think. And you know what? Also, he's also got the funky, funky eye patch. Forward to this. So, like, yeah, funky, funky eye patch does get you some difference points. But don't. But don't think you can use it all the time, okay? You only have so many characters you can pull the funky, funky eye patch trick on to, to twist you into thinking it's a different character. All right. Um, oh, this one. Ready for trial. Very same. Has funny hat. I mean, it's not a funny hat. It's from, it's, you know, it's from but same, all same. Here's my party of the same person. Okay, there's two more. There's two more character models that are in the game. Like for real, 
it's like tall man what shall we do um small baby man uh tall lady regular sized lady a pleasure to be working with you and then um baby there's baby characters as well I don't have that many baby characters. You're a baby character. I will bring my notebook. See, they, they have baby. <laughs> my help as usual? Only lady babies, but who knows? Genshin has only been around for two years. You know, they could they could easily have more babies. Just what will we come across this time? That's main character, Chan. All is accounted for. Let's move out. It might be a little shorter than than normal girl model. I'm not positive. You'd think so since it's like the main character, Chan. Okay. Uh, but for tall lady, you know, Here, due diligence. Let you. Hmm. Let's do this. Tall lady also a favorite of mine. Don't disappoint me. No, ma'am. Yeah. All right, let's go. So, tall lady, tall man. While they're, you know, while it's a good archetype, it's also the same, right? Even these these two who are girlfriends, they look the same. Slizra, hello. Yeah, same same. Um, who else? Is there any other tall lady? I stopped pulling the tall ladies when um. Here, I think we can. I need. Let's see. Um, sweet, sweet. Character archive. So, can we sort by tall lady? No. They came out with this tall lady. It was this tall lady. I think that that made me say no. Nah. Maybe it was this one. I think it, this might have been this one, where I was like, they look the same. These tall ladies. These, these tall ladies that you have are these different costumes for the same person. They're just, even this one. It's just like, Like, I do feel like it's the same person. Like, and you could also go with, like, um, add into that the other tall ladies. This one. This one, big hat. You know, you got to give them credit. They got big hat. They got high patch. Give them credit. This one. Uh, claw, claw hands. You know, that's, I feel like that's. When I, like, I look at Ningguang as, like, the tall lady archetype, right? And then, like, the other side of the coin is, like, this. I don't know why, why is Yellen and Yula different people? Shenha? Why are they different people? At least, she's a fox. You know, you, you gotta give him that. She is a fox. I mean, like, like literally, like she's a fox lady. Um, not like, ooh, she's a fox. But there's another baby. That's another baby. This baby. 
the best one. Sotoko, where are you? Klee, honestly, another reason when people are like, why are you playing this game that you are trash talking? Because Klee, I don't have her. Because she's not good. But. Whenever she talks, a smile is brought to my face. But I'm I'm not allowed to hear her talk because I don't own her. They're like, you wanna hear the you wanna hear the cute little baby talk? You gotta pay for the opportunity. Um and the voice actress, Punambasu. Is that how you say it? So so good at the cute voice. Honestly. It's bomb. So heavy. Listen to that. Ultimate cute. If you want a cute baby voice, that's it. Everybody else is okay. Anyway, there's me talking about all the care. What is this person? Like... I'm like, isn't this a character already? Is this not literally a character that's already in the game? Is this not just like a different hair color version of someone? Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Hmm? Huh? Is that not the case? Huh? Yes? No? Maybe? Like, it just, for, for me, is the point where, um, I can't. That's why I've never spent a single Mora on any of my snacks. Yeah, so a lot of it for me comes down to like the voice performance, frankly, which is why I play the game in English, because if, if you can't have that, I'm just getting like, like basically like, you know how like when you play like old like um, pixel based games, 8 and 16 bit, and it's like, you just have a character and you're like, that's just like a little guy. That's just like a little guy. You could change his hat. You could change that. But it's like basically the same little guy. It's like the chibi. These are like slightly larger chibis. Um, so it's like, they're like, oh, look at this cool new character. And it's like, yeah, how's the voice? And if it's like a very good, fun voice, very good, fun character, like maybe I'll consider. But they just very rarely have those. Anyway. That ends um, Genshin 8, eight o'clock. <laughs> oh, did you look at the time? It's not. It's no longer 8 o'clock. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed being here to have me complain about Genshin Impact um, for a solid four hours. Thank you. This has been our Friday fun stream. Um, I'm going to be back on Sunday with some Stardew, Stardew Valley. A game with some character, you know? Different, actually, it really does. I, I, Imo, Stardew Valley has way different characters when compared to Kenshin Impact. Mom can't catch me. Hmm? Prove me wrong. You. You can't. Stardew Valley is the new Genshin Impact. It's not. And I'm glad it isn't. Okay. Anyway, that's it. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. Goodbye. Have a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you in hell. Gosh. All I can think about is D-Luke. That is true, though.